let's take a look at the chart action for Bitcoin. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. We have resistance, resistance, resistance. We have support, support. We got rejected on these resistance areas and we got support bouncing to the upside on these bottoms. So what I've been basically looking at are these two trend lines right here. And I've been waiting for a breakout to the upside or to the downside to get a better idea of what we're doing. Until then, it kind of just seems like we're bouncing in between these two levels. It's possible right now that we get a bounce on this trend line and start to head up, but it's also possible that we break it to the downside. If we break it to the downside, I think we'll see a bigger movement and that will be a bearish signal. The other thing I've been watching are these orange horizontal lines. I talked about these on my last video and how they are the previous bottoms on the four hour time frame. If we jump over the four hour time frame, let's go ahead and delete this bottom trend line right here for now and I'll bring it back in a second. I just kind of want to show you where these orange lines come from. We have a previous bottom right here, a previous wick that came down right here, and a previous bottom that we got right here. So in general, what I'm thinking is dollar cost averaging in these areas, maybe let's go back to the daily time frame and bring back that trend line. Because we had, let's go back to the daily time frame, because when we broke these trend lines in the past or when we broke them right here and right here, we didn't stay below the trend line. We kind of just wicked down and then got a bounce back up, wicked down, bounce, bounce back up. And I'm kind of curious if we could do that again. Maybe we just come down, we break it, wick down, and then bounce straight back up. We don't stay there for that long. That's why I'm looking at these spots down here. And these levels are sitting at around 36.5K, 35K, and 33K approximately. So, I'm thinking or I'm hoping that instead of having to come all the way down to around 29.6K, which is also a previous bottom, maybe we can just get a wick down to one of these ones and bounce up. But it's also possible that because we break this trend line, if we break it, we haven't broken it quite yet. But if we break this trend line, we could also use this channel pattern as a target or something to target. So we could do from the top to the bottom of the pattern and drag it to the breakout. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll drag from the top to the bottom of the breakout and then we could drag this to the breakout if we break out to going to the downside. And the funny thing is, is if we break this trend line going to the downside, this pattern actually lines up with this previous bottom down here at around 29.6K, 29.7K. I've been looking at this previous bottom for a while because I think I, I, what I really want to do is stay above this previous bottom because after that it looks like we're gonna I mean it might be we might even go lower so at this point I'm kind of just hoping that we can bounce on one of these orange lines I don't really care which one but I really want to stay above this bottom one down here because it seems like that these are like this the, the previous bottoms of that bull market that we just pretty much were in so yeah it's kind of interesting how this channel pattern target lines up with this previous bottom though because I've been watching this bottom for a while at around 29.6k. I'm kind of wondering if we could get support on one of these orange lines and get a bounce to the upside. It's also possible that we break it and even head lower, but these are the first bridges that I think that I'm looking at to cross. I was also looking at this one up here at around 41k because on the 4 hour time frame we had this 180 moving average right here and I was hoping that we could get a bounce on that one, but we couldn't. We got we fell below it and now we're testing this bottom line. So I'm still not 100% sure what's going to happen if we're going to break this trend line going to the downside or if we're going to get a bounce on it like we have in the past. Every time or when we come into this trend line, we're getting a nice support, nice support. Let's see if we could get another support and move up or if we start breaking to the downside. The other thing I want to talk about is the moving averages. So let's go ahead and delete everything and we'll just kind of take a look at where we are as far as the moving averages go. I like watching these moving averages to see if we're in a good spot or a bad spot. This is the moving average that I'm talking about right now. We're on, we're on the daily time frame, and this is the 9 moving average. In general, I would much rather be above the 9 moving average than below it because usually when we're below it, we get rejected on it, and when we're above it, we can get support on it. Right now, we are below it on the daily time frame, but it also looks like we're kind of going in and out of it. When we go in and out of this moving averages on the on any time frame, we want to look to the next bigger time frame. So let's jump over to the weekly time frame. And I've been really watching this weekly nine moving average right here. 
we were above it for a few weeks actually we broke we cracked it and we were above it but as you can see we're not able to stay above it but it does look like we're still testing it i do like the fact that we're really close to it it's better than being far away from it if we get rejected and start heading down then we're going to start being more far away from it and it's going to take longer to break through it right now we're so close to it and it looks like we're kind of testing it so I still think that we have, it's still possible that we break through and go up, but being below it, I don't like the way that looks per se. So in general, I'm thinking that we're kind of in a bad spot right now. And until we break back above this nine moving average, it kind of looks a little bearish in my opinion. And like I said, on the daily time frame, we're under that nine moving average as well. So that's a little bearish as well. If we jump over the monthly time frame, it's possible that this is the one that we really want to concentrate on or we really want to hope to break above it because it kind of looks like we we broke below it right here and ever since then we came up got rejected on it head down it looks like we came up just tested it and got rejected on it so what we really want to do is break above this nine moving average we're not too far away from it but we're still under it so i don't really like that and like i said first things that we want to do are break the smaller time frames so let's go to the four hour time frame and see what that looks like the four hour time frame right now we're under it and like i said if we could break above it on any of these time frames that's going to be a good signal first we could look at the lower time frames and if we break above it on the lower time frames then we could look at the next time frame and then hope to break it on the higher time frames first step is breaking through it on this daily time frame i think if we could break above that then we can start looking at the weekly time frame and start looking to break that one then we can move up to the monthly time frame etc what i'm trying to say right now is being below it is a bad signal. Being above it is a good one. And what we want to do is break this nine moving average going to the upside. Stay above there. We want to close that candle and then get bounces on that moving average as opposed to getting bounces pushing us down. I think the main thing that I'm watching right now is the daily time frame and this pattern this channel pattern, something like this. We're going sideways pretty much, and until we break down or up, then I'm thinking maybe we could just be bouncing in between this pattern. That's why I'm kind of wondering, are we gonna get support right here and get a bounce to the upside, or are we gonna break it going down? The moving averages make me think that we might be pushing down and we might be able to break this going to the downside. If we do, this 29.6K target might be very likely, but it's also possible, like I was saying, that maybe we can get bounces on, if we go back to that four hour time frame and delete this trend line, these orange lines represent the previous little bottoms. Hopefully, or maybe we could get a wick, maybe we could get a wick down and get a bounce on one of those orange lines as well. That's just basically what I'm thinking on this chart right now though. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like the video, hit that thumbs up button.